Hello, this is Lloyd Maxwell Jr. And this is my introductory video to J Max Photo on the YouTube channel. I'm new to YouTube, but I want to reach out to to you there by sharing some of my uh, experiences with or in photography. And uh, hopefully we'll be able to develop a a good association sharing from each other. This video though is to give you a little background as to where I'm from, where I'm coming from as far as photography is concerned and to hopefully have you get to know me a little better. the hair might be a little tall I'm not, I need a haircut so please forgive anyway I'm originally from Kingston Jamaica and my photography started at an early age my learning of about photography started at an early age it was my father's idea he was an enthusiast as it were a photography enthusiast and I watched him for a few years growing up, but one summer he decided that he didn't want me hanging around during the summer holidays with the kids in the neighborhood. So he sent me to a, a friend of his who was a professional photographer. And that photo I started out learning photography from in a dark room uh, and developing film and, and print. When I came to the United States in the late 70s, uh, I got a job with a company that took uh, portrait pictures at kindergarten schools or elementary schools. So I worked in, in the lab processing film again and printing. So, uh, but my goal was to become a professional photographer from an early age. However, getting married at an early age and having kids kind of postponed the, uh, the effort of becoming a photographer. So I had to work, I had to support a uh, family, and so it was hard to, to find the necessary funds to purchase my equipment. Uh, naturally, those are the days of film and uh, so that my dreams were postponed for a while. Now, within the last year, I've retired, early retirement, and I've started to purchase my gear again. And there are, I've been watching YouTube now for some time and learning from others, other professionals. And there are a number of people I'd like to give a shout out to. The first person really I started watching on YouTube was Frank Dorhoff. And I, I studied him and listened to his techniques on lighting and on posing of his, the models. Uh, his use of both speed lights and strobes. The second person I'd like to give thanks to is Mr. Jason Lanier and his convincing argument and why he switched from Nikon to Sony. Uh, so needless to say, I use a Sony mirrorless camera. I have two of those and I'll, in the later videos I'll show you my what's in my bag. Uh, Along with the Sony brand, I also have to give a shout out to Mr. Gary Fong and his in-depth uh, videos on how to use these different cameras. 
and many more at, uh, at this time I'm not able to remember or recall the names but uh, I like learning and I'm not afraid to give credit where credit is due so thanks to all those who are putting out those video videos those instructional videos uh, one other person uh, Mark Wallace from Snap Factory. He was very instrumental in, again, reviving all the things I, I knew before but was, was suppressed over the years because of not using uh, the techniques. So thanks to all those people. Thanks uh, for, for continuing to educate folks on the art of photography. I definitely have some opinions, both positive and negative, as to the industry today, and I'll go over those in, in, in future videos. Uh, I'll do so from the standpoint of old school photography and how some of these technologies that we have now takes away from the art. Of the, of, the, of the craft. So p stay tuned for those and hopefully I can uh, not only educate you but also entertain you. You know my kids call me the Joker so yeah. we'll see how that works out and uh, we'll go from there. Upcoming in future episodes my first, my next video, I hope to show you what's in my camera bag. And you, you'll be surprised. This is not a well-known brand camera bag. So it's going to be a, a, a dual review of what's in my bag as far as equipment and the bag itself. And you'll be surprised not only at how much it holds, but at how much it, you can get it for, the cost of this bag, and uh, it's amazing. So folks, thanks for listening, and we'll see you next time on JMAX Photo YouTube channel. Take care.